Carol and then the world. Now this is a series I really wasn't expecting much of, but I did hear a few murmurs here and there about it, and then I decided to check it out, and I'm honestly pleasantly surprised about it. If I could describe this show, I would describe it in a sense of when you get asked that question, what would you do if the world was ending right now? So I'll quickly get into the story, and then I'll do something a little different by the time I'm done with the story. So the story first starts off with Carol, right? And spoiler alert, the world is fucking ending, and it's a, gonna be a few months until the world ends. And surprisingly enough, everyone on Earth is sort of taking it pretty well? Talk to us about anything, right? Hey, yo, what the fuck? Which is weird as fuck. You thought it, it would be a whole bunch of panic and destruction in the streets and shit like that because the world is ending. But that's not really happening. Everyone's sort of like partying and everyone's having such a good time before I guess the world is about to end, right? And then there's Carol who basically sort of just doesn't know really what to do in this end of the world scenario because all this stuff that everyone's doing, all this things that's different isn't really carol so she has to basically find out what is she gonna do for the next few months before like the world's about to end and she sort of stumbles upon office and that's where i'll stop there now the thing i'll do differently is instead of doing negatives for this i'm gonna do something that could like be like a turn off for people especially for watching the show right so the first thing i'll talk about is like the monotone right the main character carol has like a more or less a monotone s voice with a little bit of dry humor and honestly for me that I sort of like it a lot it, it definitely fits in with the show and the more you stick with it the more like you sort of get to like it and more to appreciate it then it feels like the first episode is a tiny bit weird because it feels like it's on the nose with certain things or certain things that they're telling you like oh you should live your life is like in the background like five six seven different times and i thought like the show was gonna go a completely different other direction and i wasn't gonna really like it but they quickly changed my mind by pretty much like the end of the episode or at least in the second episode but moving on to the positives one of the biggest positives in the show or just the biggest one in general is just the characters themselves there's gonna be a bit of spoilers here and there with the characters in the show it feels like you're getting like a bit of a window peek into their lives and that is more than enough for you to understand who they are and sort of why they're in this position in the first place for example with donna just getting a little bit of a look into her life with us first getting a little bit of a hint of it when we get like a little bit of a backhanded comment or a little bit of a sly comment of her having a kid at 17 that's in a previous episode then in the next few episodes later you sort of see the instead of her life and her whole family on a christmas dinner and the grief and borderline depression she sort of feels when she realizes that she wasn't really in her kids lives as much because she had to work because of obviously having a kid at 17 and then having three more children wouldn't leave much time or room to like really be at home to be with your children and sort of her having to like work every single day to provide just for her children but what everyone at the dinner table sort of talk about memories and how much fun they have with each other she sort of realizes that I wasn't really there that much and it sort of eats away at her to a certain degree or a certain point and makes her want to have more memories with her children now because she feels like she squandered that moment or that point of time way back when. Then there's Carol. She's like an ogre. Ogres, ogres have, have layers layer. but carol she has a lot of interesting and also relatable stuff for her like for example she, she got really drunk off of wine then a kid came to her doorstep asked for candy like it's halloween even though it's the middle of fucking july and then you sort of have to take the kid all the way around to the neighborhood to find his parents to find out he doesn't really have parents at all yeah pretty relatable shit honestly no but seriously there's times where she does feel very relatable like for example lying to your parents about you doing something or you doing something right now with your life you know it might be on the lower side or the lower side of things right now just so they don't have anything more else to worry about or put you on that worry list right or another example of her being just like doing the most for a job that you just got hired for because you just got hired and you think that you really have to do the best or 150 percent of your being just for your job itself or lastly you're trying to make friends and new places or scenarios that you get placed in then there's the other positive i do want to give this show is just a no babying and what i mean by no babying is like there are some shows out there that will literally baby you and like sort of hold your hand really hardly to a show and like sort of having to keep reminding you forcefully saying this that and the third but realistically you don't need that as long as you at least say it once or you borderline hint at what is going on and you don't have to like really express or like yell in my face what is happening which is something i really do like about this show as well another huge positive i really want to give this show is that like everyone matters everyone does matter in this show and that sort of gets expressed into a multitude of ways if they're one being certain side characters that you do see for like a few minutes or maybe even just a few seconds that you think that won't really come back or they won't really have much of else to do for the season then for those characters to get like a full segment or a full episode about their adventure what they're about to be doing for like an episode or two and really just spotlighting them for that moment in time for them like with steven and his dad and him having a road trip over the problems that they're having and just having them slowly warm up back up to each other like nothing really even happened in the first place then there's also something i want 
want to go over really quickly, which is the spiral effect, I like to call it, when it came with Carol and Carol wanting to, one, know everyone in the office's names and how that soon blossoms into something really beautiful. With Carol, first time, I want to know other people's names and sort of just really get to know these people because it felt like it was like more or less a useless void of people just working in this one location. With one of them then dying by the name of David and how some of them slowly start to come together and sort of slowly support each other, which then evolves all of them to actually have a relationship outside of work with this slow burner of an arc feeling really rewarding by the time you get to the end of it but i do highly suggest this show i think it's pretty fun and a pretty good watch especially if you want to stick with it it's only 10 episodes so i think it's definitely worth the watch but other than that thank you guys for watching like comment, subscribe see you guys in the next one goodbye